You know something? When I was studying law, and Mr. Kiefer here was writing his stories, and you, Willie, were tearing up the playing fields of dear old Princeton, who was standing guard over this fat, dumb, happy country of ours, eh? Not us. Oh, no. We knew you couldn't make any money in the service. So who did the dirty work for us? Quig did. And a lot of other guys. Tough, sharp guys who didn't crack up like Quig. But no matter what, Captain Quig endangered the ship and the lives of the men. He didn't endanger anybody's life. You did, all of you. You're a fine bunch of officers. You said yourself he cracked. I'm glad you brought that up, Mr. Painter, because that's a very pretty point. You know, I left out one detail on the court-martial. Wouldn't have helped our case any. Tell me, Steve, after the Yellowstone business, Quig came to you guys for help and you turned him down, didn't you? Yes, we did. You didn't approve his conduct as an officer. He wasn't worthy of your loyalty. So you turned on him. You ragged him. You made up songs about him. If you'd given Quig the loyalty he needed, do you suppose the whole issue would have come up in the typhoon? You're an honest man, Steve. I'm asking you. Do you think it would have been necessary for you to take over? It probably wouldn't have been necessary. Yeah. If that's true, then we were guilty. Ah, you're learning, Willie. You're learning that you don't work with a captain because you like the way he parts his hair. You work with him because he's got the job or you're no good. Well, the case is over. You're all safe. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. And now we come to the man who should have stood trial. The Cain's favorite author. The Shakespeare whose testimony nearly sunk us all. Tell him, Kiefer. No, you go ahead. You're telling it better. You ought to read his testimony. He never even heard of Captain Quig. Let's forget it, Barney. Quig was sick. He couldn't help himself. But you, you're real healthy. Only you didn't have one-tenth the guts that he had. Except I never fooled myself, Mr. Greenwald. I'm going to drink a toast to you, Mr. Kiefer. From the beginning, you hated the Navy. And then you thought up this whole idea. And you managed to keep your skirts nice and starched and clean, even in the court-martial. Steve Merrick will always be remembered as a mutineer. But you, you'll publish your novel, you'll make a million bucks, you marry a big movie star, and for the rest of your life, you'll live with your conscience, if you have any. Now, here's to the real author of The Cane Mutiny. Here's to you, Mr. Kiefer. If you want to do anything about it, I'll be outside. I'm a lot drunker than you are, so it'll be a fair fight. <laughs>